A big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. These Chipotle garlic beef ribs have been smoked and cooked to perfection. Let me show you how it's done. Every now and then you come up with one of those ideas. What if I take this beautiful piece of meat and pair it with that type of recipe? These are things Pitmasters dream about. It's honest. I, I dream about food and especially about this. And my dream was about garlic and chipotle mixed with beef ribs. <laughs> That's gonna be good. Let me show you the beef ribs that I'm talking about. Look, beef ribs, but not just any beef ribs. Look at the size of these things. And <laughs> they're absolutely huge. They're double the size of normal beef ribs. These are from the Snake River Farm, which means you get a beautiful piece of meat. I'm just gonna open these up because I wanna see them in real life, not just through the package. And I wanna show you the beauty oh, of beautiful ribs, Wagyu ribs. Look at them, compared to my head, they're humongous. And you have a pretty big head already. This is so sad. Now, of course, I wanna add flavors to these beef ribs. Fat's gonna melt down, we're gonna have beautiful meat and strong flavors on the inside, and it's gonna be extremely juicy. So that means with these strong beefy flavors, we can pair it up with stronger flavors on the outside. So let me show you what I have in mind. These ribs are gonna be even better when I put some amazing flavor on them. By grinding down one tablespoon worth of coffee beans. These smoked chipotle peppers are gonna take it to the next level. I'm gonna take three of them, chop them fine, and then mix them up with the coffee. Next up, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of a light sea salt, half a tablespoon of fresh ground pepper, a tablespoon of paprika powder, a tablespoon of onion powder, two cloves of pressed garlic, and then I'm gonna mix it up. This is what I call a wet rub. Now I'm gonna put that on top of my beef ribs. Now it's time to fire up my Napoleon Kettle Pro Grill. I'm gonna remove the grill grate, place in a log of beech, a small amount of charcoal, and I'm gonna light it up with some embers from my fire. Now I can place back my grill grates and set it to the highest position. Now I've got the perfect indirect setup, and at the same time, I got my smoke wood integrated in my setup. It doesn't get any better than that. Time to put the beef ribs on. That's how big it is. It's an absolute giant and takes up almost all of the space on this grill grate. And I left the membrane on, so when I get hot air from the bottom, this meat is gonna be protected by that membrane. I'm gonna close the lid and let this smoke at a temperature of around 120 degrees Celsius. There's gonna be a lot of hot air in that barbecue, and that means that the outside might dry out a little bit. And to prevent that, I wanna make a spray. And I'm gonna show you my basic spray, the Pitmaster X Beef Spray. And it's gonna be on our website, and you can find it and look it up every time you need it. Just Google Pitmaster X Beef Spray, and you're gonna find it. Because it's very easy to make. It takes half a cup of beef fond, one cup of coffee, a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, and you can pronounce it Worcestershire sauce, Worcester sauce, Mr. Lee Perkins's favorite sauce, whatever you want. You can name it whatever you want. And don't bother me with what you're gonna name it. And then a quarter cup of whiskey, or bourbon, or whatever. Don't, don't, don't go there. Now, screw it up, and that's how easy it is to make a good spray. Just a little pump, and then test spray it. Better. Spray done. Of course, these beef ribs deserve a tasty barbecue sauce. We're gonna start with half a cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of whiskey, one chipotle pepper chopped fine, a teaspoon of Worcester sauce, a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground pepper, three tablespoons of sugar. Let that come up to a boil, give it a good stir, and you're done. Let's check out our beef ribs. Whoa. Nice smoke color on the outside. Absolutely gorgeous. 
nice and dry crust on top. And I'm now about four hours in, and you can see that it's time to start spraying. So I just wanna make sure that the crust is getting wet again, that the outside gets sufficient spray. I just wanna make sure that that crust gets wet again and that I get a nice layer of flavor on the outside of the meat. The beef ribs are definitely, definitely done. Look at how beautiful they look. Insane crust. If you just with your finger, look at that. It's so juicy. This is called a bark. That's a big, fat crust. And every now and then you can still see a little bubble. It's time to take these beef ribs off the grill and let them sit for around 20 minutes on my cutting board so the temperature can drop and we can do a proper taste. The bark on these ribs is just insane. It's beautiful dark color. We got a really pronounced smoke ring and it's juicy as can be. Now, it's so tender that I probably just, yeah, it's already going. I could just probably tear these ribs off. If I, like, look, there we go. Whoa, <laughs> now that, that is one tender beef rib. I'm just gonna get rid of this so we can take a look. A little bit of that fat section because these are Snake River Farm beef ribs, as I said, and that means they're super, super fatty, so juicy, so tender. <laughs> Rivers are flowing inside these beef ribs. Now let's slice this up and give these slices a try. So we got the bark. We got the juiciness. There we go. Snake River Farm. Is that how it's called? Snake River Farm? Insane. Insane. What are you guys doing there? Definitely not doing something with snakes. You're gonna need a couple of guys to help you eat this. If you got like two to three kilograms of these ribs, that's a lot of work, especially with this amount of fat. But what is more special? That's the rub on the outside, the wet rub together with that beautiful spray, nothing can be dead. You guys are creating amazing, amazing beef ribs. That spiciness of the chipotle, saltiness, little bit of bark, and then such soft and tender meat on the inside with a beautiful smoke ring like that. That's, that's always gonna be a joy to eat. Let's, let's try some sauce. So your dog's coming in. Chipotle it's, it's whiskey party. sauce. Chipotle whiskey sauce. Now, I know this meat is really good and you don't need any sauce to go with it, but mm, the acidity of the sauce. Mm -hmm. You need that. Yeah, you kind of need the sauce. I forget what I said earlier. You said the, that you didn't need it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's, let's just be honest. The meat doesn't need it's, the sauce, it's but we do. Such juicy it. meat is so kind of like appropriate to have a sauce with it. Yes. Do you want to show them where the next video is going to be yeah. about? It's going to be right here. Where's it? it? I don't know what's it about. You mm -hmm. gotta click it before barbecue. you wanna know. Barbecue? Mm -hmm. Gonna be a barbecue video? Insane. You're gonna love it.